Hi, I'm Paul Shards here. You're watching Heart of Gold. Thanks for tuning in. We have an organization who's got some initials, AVOL, AVOL. AVOL. John Parker, welcome. Thank you very much. It's good to be here. You've been with AVOL three years. Just over three years. Where were you before AVOL? I was uh, eight years at United Way of uh -huh. the Bluegrass, yeah. and then before that I was 13 years at Community Action Council. Oh, yes. So I've been around a little while. So you've gotten to know the community from a um, delivery standpoint mm -hmm. of services and taking care of people in the community. Right, so I'm executive director now, but I'm a social worker by training, mm -hmm. and so I've been in the nonprofit uh, human services field for 25 plus years, mm -hmm. and so I've had a chance to work both in the direct services, mm -hmm. working one-on-one -on -one with people, um, to administration and management. I love AVOL because mm. it's small enough where I still get to interact with the people that mm. we serve. I'm not up Absolutely in some right. upstairs office. Yep. And so having that one-to-one -one contact with the people that we serve on a regular basis energizes me. AVOL stands for what? AIDS Volunteers. We've been in this community for 30 years this mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to be called AIDS Volunteers of Lexington, but now we're just AIDS Volunteers Incorporated because we serve 71 counties in the mm. state of Kentucky. Before it's too late, let's yeah. give your website and phone number and sure. then people can kind of be looking at things while we're talking. AVOLKY.org is our website. 859-225-3000 mm -hmm. is our phone number. Um, AIDS 20 years ago, mm. or when Magic Johnson right. kind of woke the world up and right. said, this happened to me, how has it changed from then to right now? It's really amazing. Um, I worked in HIV prevention in the early 90s for several years and at that time there were not a lot of options for people living with HIV. We were losing people on a very regular yes. basis, yeah. people were very, very sick. Mm -hmm. um, technology and medical advancements have taken place where we are now managing the illness to the point where people live healthy lives and live as long as anybody who does not have HIV. It may be common sense or logical, how do people get in contact with you? With us, where they come to us. So our services start with an HIV test. We actually provide HIV testing mm -hmm. at our office and most of the people that come to our office and test, test negative. We mm -hmm. get a result in 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we have another test that's a, it's one minute, but it's a little more expensive. Mm -hmm. um, so they pay for it? Uh, we do it for you free. Okay. Yeah, okay. we do it for free out okay. of a grant from the state and the CDC. Okay. And. Um, if a person tests negative, we talk to them about how they can stay negative. Mm -hmm. If a person tests positive, we immediately move them into treatment. So we are, before they leave, they will have a doctor's appointment. They mm. will have an appointment at the clinic. They will be able to start moving into being taken care of and having access to the medication that's going to save their lives. When the switch is flipped, mm -hmm. what does it look like? Basically, um, once a person gets on medication, mm -hmm. and they're called antiviral medications, really great medications we have now, um, they are going to experience less and less virus in their body. Mm -hmm. And so they're gonna feel better. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be healthier. They're gonna start you know, working and doing mm -hmm. everything that nor normal mm -hmm. situations mm -hmm. do. And um, it's just really amazing to see how far we've come. And then our organization for people who are, um, you know, maybe having financial difficulties or are unemployed right now, we can provide assistance with housing assistance and emergency assistance, that type of thing. So we can keep the stress low. Um, there should be no barriers. Mm -hmm. um, I think the world is better now than it was yesterday. Yeah. Light years better than it was in 1980. Absolutely. And yeah, it's getting better and better mm -hmm. all the time. And I think Lexington is thought to be one of the gay friendly, most gay friendly mm -hmm. communities sure. in America, mm -hmm. which, you know, like I tell people, what's, why is it anybody's job to judge anybody else? Exactly. You know, because don't judge me. Absolutely. Not what I'm doing. We have a wonderful community. Mm -hmm. We have a really great, LGBT community. In fact, AVOL, AVOL was created by the LGBT community, oh, huh. which is amazing because this uh, legacy that's AVOL is now serving everyone. So it's a gift mm. from your LGBT mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, we have that type of support I uh, from uh, that community to AVOL. Many of the people we serve, uh, because in this country it affected gay men mostly, mm -hmm. um, but now that demographic starting to change and we're starting to see more and more people who use drugs or uh, various um, other types of um, 
uh, people who are um, you know set apart from society mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. typically yeah. we find more risk there um, yes. but we're very fortunate at all because they will turn to us they will come to us we've built a trust there and they will come and see and we can help get them on a road to health um, when people come and see you they see you for a reason mm -hmm. and thank goodness most are negative yes what do they see that says I may I, I think I need to go get tested. I think that people are very aware of what the risk behaviors are mm -hmm. and their sexual behaviors, their sharing of uh, injecting drug equipment, there's various mm -hmm. things. It, mm -hmm. It's very specific mm -hmm. on, on what types of activities could put a person at risk mm -hmm. and they know that. And we see people actually who do come frequently, maybe even every mm -hmm. six months, just mm -hmm. as a checkup because yep. they know yep. that you know, sometimes they may have been at risk, not every time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It just depends. Um, but there are people who just have taken that step to say a, a regular HIV test is important to me. Um, we also do uh, hep C testing mm. at our office, mm. which is actually easier to get, and we're actually seeing more and more of a prevalence there mm. for that. And we do sexually transmitted disease testing as mm. well. So we've expanded our what we're able to offer. So somebody may come uh, come to us with one issue, but while we have them there, we can say, hey, let's check out all of them. Absolutely. Yeah. And John, when they come in, I'm guessing insurance is not part of the equation here. Do you cover everything? Right. So mostly? we cover the testing. Okay. Where it can get kind of complicated is if a person has the need for medical care, mm -hmm. uh, depending on if they have insurance or we would need to go through the process of getting them signed up for insurance. Um, that could take some time and there mm -hmm. is expense that can be a barrier. Mm -hmm. Paul, did you know that there's a pill that you can take once a day that keeps you from getting HIV. Did you know that? I did not know that. Most people don't know that. We need everybody to know that. Well, this is gonna help. But it's very expensive. And so that's the thing is like, you have this tool available, but it's $1,400 a month. Do they get it through whom? They would get it um, prescribed by their doctor, okay. but it has to be monitored. It's called PrEP, mm -hmm. and it's called, uh, it's, the name is Truvada. There's more coming out on the market. Okay. But um, yes, it's 99% mm. effective, mm. but you have to have your um, levels monitored, yeah. and you have to be kind of in the care of a doctor. Mm. And then the prescription itself is expensive without insurance. So we have tools, but the stuff we provided that were very basic and elementary, condoms, that type of thing, mm -hmm. are free, you know. Uh, the cost of business can be expensive. Yeah. Who do you have helping you as sponsors, mm -hmm. government underwriters? Whomever? So we have, fortunately, a wonderful relationship with the state of Kentucky mm -hmm. who, from their health department, is able to uh, funnel Centers for Disease Control funds to AVOL to mm -hmm. do all this prevention work. Mm -hmm. And then the majority of our services to people living with HIV comes through HUD, Housing and Urban Development. Mm -hmm. um, but we have a lot of great local support. So we have um, you know, companies, businesses, we have donors who have been loyal to AVOL for so many years. And we have twice a year, we have two big events that help us raise money mm -hmm. as well. The first is AIDS Walk, which is in the spring. Mm -hmm. um, but in September is Dining Out for Life. And that's well, the great timing that you're here. September 13th. Yeah. So we actually have 50 restaurants. There's 10 pending, so it might be 60. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't release the names yet. Know, I'm a I, little under I, embargo. It's always a moving target. But yeah, so um, but 50 restaurants where 25% of the sales that day mm. will be forwarded to AVOL to support mm. these kind of services. Mm -hmm. You don't need a coupon. Mm -hmm. You don't need anything. Mm -hmm. Just once you know where you're going to go, uh -huh. go eat, and 25% will come to AVOL. And you need to eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, after dinner, bre uh, dessert. Just Every, keep eating. Everything? Yes. Um, you have a weigh-in at the beginning of the event, right. and then one at the end of the event, yeah. and then whoever gains the most weight, then they get a prize too. My goal is to lose 10 pounds before the event, and by the end of the day, I should have balanced That's out. A, they <laughs> lose it before the event. Right. I know you can't name restaurants. Yeah. Um, where can people find out about the restaurants? Well, the, the list is going to become live 1st of August, dineoutlex.com or AVOL's website, which we men okay. mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. And you know, we've had some restaurants that have been on since day one. We've done this nine years. Can you mention those? Sure. Assuming Third, that they'll be. They, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Third Street stuff, okay. the Saul Goods. Yeah. Um, Dudley's, Lexington Diner, some of your favorites mm -hmm. are going to be, I get excited about Dining yeah, Out for yeah. Life, as you can tell. But um, we have 
not only the traditional favorites that have come on year after year after year, but we've got a lot of new options where people mm -hmm. can take this opportunity August to try first. it out. Go yeah. to the website again, it's what? Dineoutlex.com. Dineoutlex.com. Absolutely. Um, actually, Rob Perez will be on the next yeah. piece. He's a lovely man. You know, Rob has done such an amazing thing to take business yeah. and figure out how. We've been asking for years, how can we make this happen? Mm -hmm. How it can serve a specific need. And he's done that through his DV8, and we are just hats off to Rob. Absolutely, and hats off to you. We're not done. You mentioned that you've got some people that have, people and companies that have been with you the whole time that have mm -hmm. helped out. Yeah. Any that they don't want public recognition, but would be okay with you thanking them publicly right now? Well, absolutely. Woodford Reserve uh -huh. is our presenting sponsor mm -hmm. for Dining Out for Life, mm -hmm. and they have been on board year after year. That's the Brown Foreman Company. Mm -hmm. But you know, Woodford Reserve is a local product, absolutely. and we're yeah. very proud of it, mm -hmm. and we're very proud of our partnership with Brown Foreman and Woodford Reserve, QX.net, Macy's, Advantage mm -hmm. Air. Mm -hmm. The list is long. We have a lot and lo a lot of support. A little editorial. That sure. You know, the world that we live in can be very judgmental. Mm. And how great that companies are not afraid, but proud of with whom they partner. Absolutely. And far be it for anybody to judge anybody else, but mm -hmm. it's done. Uh, who cares what they do, what they drink, what, who they love, mm -hmm. does, does, doesn't matter. Right. But what you do, you help keep them alive. Absolutely. And you know, there's a lot of folks in this community that recognize that, and we are very appreciative. We, we really, it does a heart good mm -hmm. to, to have those types of partnerships. Last minute, give the website, give the phone number again. Sure. Uh, AVOL's website, avolky.org, uh, Dining Out for Life, dineoutlex.com, phone number 859-225-3000. And the last minute to give a commercial for AVOL. Wow, so we, the elevator speech. So we just will continue to find as many people as possible who need HIV testing mm -hmm. because there's many people out there, you gotta remember, they already have the virus, they just need to know it mm -hmm. because we need to get them into care mm -hmm. and we need to help prevent the spread. Yes. And then anyone who is living with HIV needs to be on medication so that they can be their healthiest person possible. And it's not the kind of thing that's always evident visually. Absolutely not. So it's not like a family member says, right. if you don't look very good, you need to. Yeah, you know, in Kentucky we have this thing where people don't test right away, so early detection is important. If you're not getting it detected earlier, you can start to feel more and more like, hey, something's going on. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the tip off is going to be more, what have I done? What types of risks have I taken? I need to get this checked out. And it's all confidential. It's a confidential process. John, Absolutely. thanks for coming in. I appreciate My it. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. He played hurt. He texted me at 7 o'clock this morning and <laughs> said, I'm not feeling well. He made a great recovery. Uh, maybe Woodford Reserve had something to do with it. <laughs> I'm Paul Chartier. We'll be right back on Heart of Gold.